so in this lecture we will uh, discuss about types of supports which is required for understanding the unit 1 topic so types of supports and internal constraints we will discuss in this lecture so that we can easily understand how to calculate the statical indeterminacy for the structures so for the type of supports even though we have already studied the supports different types of supports in the earlier semesters uh, in uh, strength of materials object. Here we will additionally learn how many forces we have, what are the extra conditions we have, these kind of things we will learn here. So, this is the roller support representation you now having some roller you now in between the support and the you know, ground so which will slide the support will slide if you apply any horizontal force ok the next one is rocker support here also we have you no know, one roller that is which will slide ok there is no rotation resistance here also we have some point contact on the ground in both the cases, we will have only one reaction which is perpendicular to the sliding surface. So, this is a representation of the reaction to force in the roller as well as tracker case. So, next one is smooth contacting surface. That is the structure, the support resting on smooth contacting surface. So, here also we will have only one reactive force which is perpendicular to the surface. The next one is smooth to pin connected collar. Ok, here, so this is the pin actually, but no, the contact between this pin and this collar is smooth. No fixation, this can move this pin joint can move from here to here ok to and fro it can move in the collar so in the uh, collar we join the member ok so individually the member also no, can rotate ok or the collar, the pin connected collar also move along with the member. Both motions are possible. In both the cases, only one reactive force which is perpendicular to this gator, ok, or collar available. Because uh, any other horizontal force will try to move the pin, ok. Therefore, only one reactive force is perpendicular to this collar. The next one is pin or hinge. So, here the only freedom is movement. Okay, the member can rotate itself. So, the horizontal as well as vertical movement is arrested. Ok. Therefore, we have reaction, two reactions, one in vertical direction, another one in horizontal direction. Ok. So, two forces we have, two reactions. Actually, only one resultant, ok, which is along the member, but for simplicity we resolve into two in x and y direction. That's why we get F X and F Y. The next is slider. Okay, 
So this is different from roller support because here we have you no know, this is a fixed arm. Okay, it can move in this direction. That is, there is no resistance, but it cannot move in this direction. That means there is a reactive force perpendicular to the sliding surface. In addition to the reactive force, it will have a moment resistance because you no know, the longer arm it can resist the moment. Okay, clear. So it has two reactive forces. One is perpendicular to the surface, another one is moment, moment rot rotational resistance. Similarly, in fixed connected collar, this is a fixed one. Okay, already we have seen the you no know, uh, smooth pin connected collar, whereas we have the the structure is pinned with the collar. But here, no, the, the this is the structure arm, this is a structure element, and this element is Firmly connected with the collar, so it cannot rotate. That means rotational resistance, rotational capacity is arrested. So it has a rotational resistance. Moreover, no, it it cannot move in this in this direction. That is perpendicular to the collar. So there also one reactive force, but it can move in this direction. No, along the Collar or guider. Therefore, here also we have two forces. One is perpendicular to collar, another one is resistance or rotational resistance moment. Okay, so one is F, another one is M. The next one is fixed support. Already we have studied about this one. It has three no uh, reactive forces. One is perpendicular. Well, there is vertical reaction, horizontal reaction, as well as rotational reaction. There is moment. Okay. So the next one is spring support. The spring support also has only one reactive force. Okay, perpendicular to or along the no axis, the axis of the spring. Okay, in all other directions it will move. It cannot resist the external force. So only one force we have in case of spring support. So the next topic is internal constraints. The first one is internal pin or hinge. So this is the internal pin or hinge. So, see, this is a single member, not a two members, but a single member. In the single member, we have internally one pin or hinge. Okay, that means it cannot resist the rotation as the sub, as the part is hinge. This portion cannot resist the movement or rotation. That means moment is always zero here. There is no rotational resistance. That means sigma m is equal to zero about this. Hinge. So it can resist only the vertical, vertical no reaction, vertical forces as well as horizontal forces. Okay. So that means by providing internal pin or hinge, we will have only two reactions, Fx and Fy, and one extra equations we will get in the form of sigma m is equal to zero. Okay, one extra conditions we have and two reactive force or two unknowns, two reactive force. The next one is internal link. So this is two members, two members are connected, connected by some link. This is a rigid portion, okay, this is a rigid, which will not bend, this is a rigid portion, but this is hinge. That means the two members can rotate itself. There is no rotational resistance. That means sigma m is equal to zero. Similarly, if you move this member here, it will move. There is no resistance against horizontal no force. Therefore, horizontal sigma h is equal to zero also here. 
okay it will resist only vertical force or the force along the axis of the leaf all other directions it will move it will rotate there is no resistance okay in other directions except along the axis therefore we have two kind extra conditions by providing internal link sigma m is equal to 0 and sigma h is equal to 0 only one reactive force from this internal link the next one is internal roller this also similar to internal link okay except this rigid arm or link we have one roller that's all here also there is no rotational resistance and there is no resistance no against the horizontal sliding therefore we have sigma m is equal to 0 as in sigma h is equal to 0 but it will resist the perpendicular you no know, action force therefore it will have only fy vertical reactions okay already we have seen internal spin or hinge that means within a member we will have some hinge here another constraint is joint hinge suppose if the hinge is common to a uh, many members like this this one member this another member this is a third member so in the joint we have one hinge so this hinge is common to three members okay so by providing this how many equations we have how many conditions we have we will see okay so assume from this member we have some moment uh, this number another moment this number another moment say m1 m2 m3 okay as the support or the join this hinge the moment should be equal to zero algebraic sum of all the moments should be equal to zero because the hinge will not resist any rotation or any moment therefore sigma m a is equal to 0 that means summation of all three moments should be equal to 0 that is m1 plus m2 plus m3 is equal to 0 okay okay but due to hinge at a from the free body diagram m1 must be equal to 0 m2 must be equal to 0 m3 must be equal to 0 three conditions we have or three expressions but already we have m1 plus m2 plus m3 is equal to 0 therefore if we substitute m1 is equal to 0 m2 is equal to 0 automatically we get m3 is equal to 0 therefore out of m1 is equal to 0 m2 is equal to 0 m3 is equal to 0 only two expressions are unique other expression you can get from this expression okay so the third one can be determined from the equation 1 therefore number of extra conditions available only two That is m1 is equal to 0, m2 is equal to 0. Okay, so in general, number of extra conditions available due to hinge join the hinge is equal to number of members minus one, m minus one. Okay, so this is the end of the session.